show Ronimo the uh, uh, all the weapons. Tell him I made from the game. Let's see if Ronimo can uh, recognize their own guns. Let's see the developers. Hey, how's it going? You guys made it! The PAX finally! Yeah! Sorry. Actually, when were you guys here last time? Excuse me? When, when were you guys at PAX last time? Uh, PAX Prime? Yeah. You guys have a, a while back, right? It was, a, it was a while back. I don't think... No? Never? Well, uh, I was here last year to promote Sword and Solar Steel. Uh -huh. uh, I supported the games I Oh, okay, okay. Well, I, uh, this is the first time for most of us. Yeah. Wait, this is the first time? Yeah. Even when the game first got released, it, you guys didn't do a showing? Well, we did Clash Games a lot, but Clash Prime was a lot further from us. Oh, I see, I see. Makes sense. Uh, Actually, do uh, you have any of the game developers here? Are you one of them? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I work at Rhino and Tim. Uh, oh, we got something nice to show you guys then. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah I got so this guy right here, he made actual props based off of Penny Fox's claw and Ted McFade's gun. Dude. Yeah, ch check it out. It's, 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 and it lights up. <laughs> it's, oh, wow, really? it's legit. Yeah. Check it. For you guys, I'm gonna give it to For you. For you guys. We, we, we play Awesome Knots a lot, that's why. And we do everything because we know the game is small. Yeah. So we do a lot to try to like promote the game as much as possible. Oh, wow. Like we actually uh, run like Awesome Knot channels and stuff to make sure the game gets bigger. Awesome. So you guys, uh, I guess, gonna do what I do. Cause, uh... it, it's tough though, because like it's such, it's such a good game. But people don't know about it. No, yeah, I agree. Yeah, so well, there, that's why we're here. Yeah. So here is uh Oh he's Oh my god, is that Ted McPain? That's Ted McPain's gun. Here right we go, there. Man. It's for you guys. That's legit. <laughs> No, it doesn't. I couldn't do that. No. Hey, listen, listen, listen. I'm wondering if you guys can sign in here for him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even lights course. up and everything. That is amazing. You can wear it, too. Oh, my God. I, we, we were hoping someone would show up cosplaying us at all stars. Yeah, we were looking guys. for a video. We were like, come on, Voltar, someone. Yeah, yeah. At least those stars. <laughs> So you're like there when it like first came out. Yeah, much. but uh, I was the lead designer on Sword Soldier Uh huh. And after that was finished, I'm now a marketing guy. I'm here to promote Awesome Us. That's good. That's good. Cause this game needs promotion. Yeah. <laughs> also, I made some silver and sharp for you guys. You know how you guys have that fan art thing? We're yeah. hoping that these would make it on, on there. <laughs> well, this gun is special. So, uh, you make, even as a case. <laughs> this is amazing. Now we didn't just need a big black dude to carry this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We need some. And then uh, the kind of paint. Uh, uh, what's called? <laughs> uh, can I get you guys in? Uh, what do you guys got? Um, yeah, I did check it out. Can you sign this for my friend? Yes, sir. That's legit. That's why we're, we're waiting for some awesome non merchandise. So we're, yeah, he, just, he just made it. Uh, <laughs> wow. That's for you guys. You're messing around with. For real? Yeah, he's actually giving it to you. That's for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Exhale. Yeah. I'm kind of a big guy. So. <laughs> Exhale. Exhale. See, look, like Dead Man. It's Kevin Queen. He just got wrecked. small but he's got a good awesome not following community is not uh -huh. so and uh, he's been making like game guides and stuff like that for the oh, channel yeah. so we've been trying to introduce it to as many people as possible and it's actually well. working and, and it's been working we've been able to get some people to jump awesome. on board yeah I mean uh, it's an ongoing problem it's also uh, the, especially in the summertime when the uh -huh. community shrinks a little bit yeah everybody goes out the game gets harder for newcomers. Yeah, and then you got school coming yeah. up, and that makes it like even less people are playing exactly. because of that. So, uh, so what we did is uh, we put a game key in everybody's bag. Uh huh. So if you got the swag bag, you got a couple of lost costs. Uh huh. So hopefully that will inject the community uh, some fresh players. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, like that. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a couple and we'll like spread them around. Yeah, definitely. definitely. All right, thank you. All right. But man, what do you guys think of the, the gun? Oh, we love it. It's gonna be. Uh, we have a, a trophy. Give me a trophy. I think it's gonna be. Yeah, definitely. Well, we only have one real Excel. So. Do we have one what? Uh, XL railing. Oh, okay. I can buy it. Uh, what's the uh, other one? Do you have XL knock? Uh, no. No? Yeah, yeah, do you have, you have XL knock? Yes, I'm out. This is large, though. Okay. That, that'll oh, probably, I think we're fine with that. XL and large. I didn't make it really Yeah, thank you, though. Thank you. This large. Okay. Excel, I think I'll go with the XL. Alright, sounds good. <laughs> All right, thank you guys, though. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Every update, we look forward to it, man. We're, we're, we're really, like, hoping this game gets bigger. <laughs> like, even if Inaha has the online players currently, if we even set that over a thousand, like, that'd be nice. Yeah, 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 exactly. No, we're, uh, I mean, the game definitely has a lot more potential, we feel like. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna... Like, it's a shame because um, I know when you guys first released this game, like, you had, like, a total biscuit showing off your game yeah, yeah, yeah. and all those people. But that was like early stages of the yeah, game. That's true. And I, I feel like if you did a campaign with what you have now, it would have attracted way more people. Yeah, well, uh, probably There's more stuff coming, I can tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's uh, fine. No, but we're going to be uh, working with some big YouTubers in the near future as well. Oh, uh, hopefully that will drive some more traffic. Uh, do a bit do you guys have any, uh, I know this is like a lot of questions that people have been asking us too, is, um, you know how you have the clunk miniature, right? Are you ever planning on releasing miniature figures of each character? Uh, like, yeah, is that a possibility? That we are thinking slash working on, it's just, it's hard. I know, yeah. No, I mean, they're probably, if you do so, they're probably going to be a lot smaller than clunk. Yeah, it's fine. Because clunk is huge, and, uh, very unwieldy for shipping and stuff. Yeah, because how much you sign up for? A hundred, right? Yeah. yeah. hundred bucks. Yeah. It's, a lot, it's a lot of material. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a tough it's thing to make. It's the last few. Oh, really? <laughs> it's the last few we have. Uh, after we're all done. Yeah, but it would be amazing to have, like, figures of all the different characters. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what, that's what a lot of people are hoping for. Yeah, like, yeah. even if they're like this small, and, and or even if they're like like sprites like this, right? Like where it's not too detailed, people would buy it. Yeah, like, yeah. You, you guys would have a backing for it. I'd buy all of them like easily. Personally, I'm hoping for something. Uh, Oh yeah, that would be a good $15 each, or 20 20 you could do it too. Okay. The characters are so suitable for it. Yeah. But I mean, uh, you know, I uh, uh, I think uh, we need to spend more energy into the game first. Yeah. Do you guys have any plans of like improving like matchmaking? Oh yeah, definitely. So like a banning system? Hopefully the next two, three months there's going to be a new matchmaking system released. Okay. We're okay. going to ditch Steam for matchmaking and use our own. No, actual servers, your own, your own uh, stuff? Yeah, it's actual servers for matchmaking. Not, not dedicated servers that people exactly, want. Yeah, yeah. I know that's probably a big question yeah. people ask you guys. Well, it's really hard because the, the game has completely been built around it. Uh, Peer-to-peer, uh -huh. you know, moving the, the, the gameplay code over to the server would be like it's difficult to yeah. do. Yeah, that's what I heard. Oh, uh, it would be about the same amount of work the game, building the game itself. But I mean, if the game eventually, you know, did get bigger, would you actually consider it? Consider it? Uh, maybe or, or is it, or is it so much rework that it'd be hard, like just too difficult? Well, right now, that is how we feel about it. Uh -huh. uh, it's more trouble than it should be. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, uh, so first, we're gonna have to see the what the new matchmaker does. So what the new matchmaker is gonna uh -huh. do is. Uh, uh, Try and connect all the players that are in the matchmaking pool with each other and uh -huh. see how well those connections work out, their things and stuff. Are you Take that into account with okay. actually matching them. Are you going to also, you know how like League of Legends and um, Gears of the Storm, right? They have that competitive banning system. Because I, I know during the Awesome Cup, you guys have something similar to Awesome Draft, yeah. right? Are you going to actually try to implement that into the game itself? Uh, it's interesting. It's, it's a really fun system. Yeah. The thing is, you need a, quite a big player base to make it work. Yeah, that, that's what I heard too. We split up the community and there's people playing unranked and ranked. Yeah. Make, quote unquote, ranked and ranked. Yeah. Draft mode, not draft mode. And that might, that might influence the quality of the matchmaking. But if you have a lot, a lot bigger pool of players, it would, it would work it, better. Yeah, yeah, it would work yeah. better. But, uh, we are doing a lot to try and increase that pool. Uh huh. And bring it up to a higher level. So, uh, I don't know. I think, personally, I think the new matchmaking, one of the main problems that drives people away right now is the, the matchmaking itself. But yeah, but you can't, you, you can't really do too much of it because it's a small player base. Like yeah. sometimes League 5 will be matched with League 3, and then it's like. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. So, sometimes it's unavoidable. Complete stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's tough. Uh, I, I think in general we need to step it up when it comes to. Uh, be more strict when it comes to level differences. Uh -huh. In the sense that, yeah, people might have to be waiting longer, but the matches will be better. Yeah. Uh, which I feel is more important. I would do it right now. You, you want, want me to give you the uh, YouTube channel that we're using? So I'll promote it. Because uh, I, I can like write it down because yeah, that's that's been our problem too. We're like we're we're gaining people in to the game. Okay, cool. good. Just send me an email. All right. Yeah, we'll definitely send you an email, and I'll I'll, I'll just tell you where the guys that gave you that 10 McCain gun. <laughs> Uh, in the message, I'll write Ted McQueen gun. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then you'll, you'll know who we are. But uh, yeah, that's the biggest problem. Like people try it out, but they don't stick along. They don't stick around long enough to actually like. Because the game is actually more complex than it looks too. Yeah. Like, the game mechanics. But uh, recently, uh, me and uh, my girlfriend played a match. Uh huh. And the third guy in our team, he actually said in the chat that he was new to the game. Yeah. And the other team was a really try-hard pre-made. Oh my gosh, that probably ruined it for him. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, with the current player base size, I'm guessing that happens a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, we've got to figure out a way to 
<laughs> like, like, uh, you no, know, as a joke, what, we, what me and my buddy do is we actually, we have alternate accounts, right, just to see what kind of, like, what's happening within the lower leagues. Oh, yeah. Because we kind of, like, want to research what's going on. And we notice, like, uh, with the lower league players, like, for some reason, they'll get matched with, like, like you said, try-hard pre-mades. Yeah. And then you have those pre-mades, like, talking mad trash and stuff. So then it's, like, those newer players don't want to play yeah. anymore. Uh, and then we feel, we feel really bad for, for them. Exactly. No, uh, I agree. I agree totally. And, uh, so we need a bigger player base to fix that. And, uh, and just more strict matchmaking in the sense that uh, you can't match uh, people so hard. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think that's a good place to start, honestly. That's a, yeah, definitely.